for showing up. You know, I'm not a fan of the national this and national that day, but you know what? It's National Drink Wine Day, and I don't need any excuse to have a great cocktail or a glass of wine. And we got a little bit of a twist here. I got Paul Kelly, the bar manager at Carbone's right there in Franklin Avenue in Hartford, uh, to mix up a couple drinks for us. But the first one is not one yeah. that I would normally think would have wine in it because it's a sour. Well, I thought it'd be a little more interesting <coughs> if we did a cocktail instead of pouring us a glass of wine. So we're going to do the right. classic New York sour from probably the late 860s, after, uh, right before Prohibition, I should say. Okay. Uh, a little different. We're going to do a dry shake. A dry, uh, okay. So it means we're going to put no ice in it first. So we're going to okay. Put an egg white and nobody get panicked. It's just for, it uh, makes it a little more frothy and more rich. Okay. We're going to yep. do uh, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Okay. And we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And that's what makes it a sour for the most part. Correct. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of bullet bird and we're going to do two bird. ounces. Right. And this is where the, uh, this is where the dry shake comes in. So we're going to lock it in. We don't want to lock it under your stove here. All right. Okay. Shake, shake. Yeah, a lot. A, a lot. So basically, what you're doing is you're breaking up the egg. You're also making what I'd say is almost like a, almost like a meringue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Then we pop that out. All right. You hope. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna actually. Now we're going for the ice. We're gonna, gonna add a little bit of ice. Try shake it and first. We're gonna do it again. Okay. This looks like fun. No, it smells too. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. So a New York sauce. So this has been New around York since the 1860s. 1860s. Okay. Coming that out. All right. And then what we'll do is we're going to fill this up with ice. So we haven't even gotten to the wine yet. We haven't gotten yet. to the, the wine yet. That's the best the part. Air. Right. Okay. Look at this. I want to see how it We're going to double strain. Okay. And we got it up there. Let me get out of the way so we can take a look at it, too. Let me yeah. also see if we can get some of these. You get that away for you. From above. There we go. Okay. And this is where the, the red good wine. Right this now. is where the white red wine comes in here. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you just get this 40, 43 out of the way. Oh, there you go. Drizzle. You see? And that is. It's like we always say: you eat with your eyes. You you can drink with them too. I like seeing it cascade down. Bourbon infused cherry. A little orange. And there you a go. Straw. And there you go, a little mess, but that's all that right. is it. That's all right. That's why we got stuff right here in the kitchen for it. So that's the New York that is sour. The New York sour. With just a little bit of that red wine on the yeah, top. You see the froth there from the egg white? It makes yeah. it just creamy and richer. Beautiful. I'm going to try some yeah. of that. you got to go to work, sir. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, that is delicious. Okay. All right. Also, then we're going to do, you can't, you can't, yeah, you can't do uh, drink wine day without doing a classic sangria at Carbone. So okay. this will start in about four weeks. So it's three different kinds of rum in here. Three and different kinds of rum? Three different kinds of rum. Right. And you can tell that's been soaking this for a while because the color's yeah, going the out. Yeah, the colors are going yeah. out. There's your rum. Wow. And then what we do, a little bit of orange juice. Okay. And you saw earlier the liquor 43. So the liquor 43 is a yes. Spanish liqueur. And most times people use brandy, but this is what we, that's my little secret there. Okay. And what we're going to do is... What is the flavoring on 43? Mostly, you're mostly going to get vanilla out of it. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to add the wine. And there you go. There My wife go. loves you already, because oh, she loves sangria. This is definitely a crowd favorite. Carrie, we got to try this. And, yeah. It's been a while. Just do a flip-flop. Okay. Is that the technical term? And that is the technical term. <laughs> it's very technical. Then there you're you going to tap it. All right. With a little bit of 7-Up right there. 7-Up. All right. And there's your paper straw. Paper straw. And Environmentally the friendly. The carbons. Just like that. That's it. And this is something you can always have. And it's going to start probably uh, in April, yeah. Start yeah. in April? Yeah, but the classic sour, we do, all, we do all the different kinds of sours at Carbone. So, yeah, come on down, Franklin Avenue, 588, um, and come have a uh, sour on National Wine Day. What else do you yeah. want to tell us about the wines of selection? You got any yeah, uh, we have a, we have a pretty Yeah, we have a pretty big selection. We do half-off bottles of wine yeah. on Wednesdays. Uh, our, our bottle selection is running about 140 right now, 140 bottles. Um, yeah. We're always trying new things, and we're always our cocktail list is expanding. And uh, the food is fantastic. What more can you ask for? Yeah, nothing, yeah. nothing. I want to try the New York Sour, too. Yeah. I just want to have something that's got an egg white in it. I don't yeah. know that I've ever done that before. So thank you so much. This Thanks is wonderful. Much. Appreciate it. Looks great. There you All got right. it. Carbone's right there in Franklin Thanks, Avenue, guys. guys. Enjoy.